Good people, YouTube, I'm the watch today, and I enjoy mechanical watches immensely, and yet I also love quartz watches because they can be absolutely spectacular watches, and in many ways, I think that quartz watches can be better than their mechanical counterparts. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the four reasons why I think quartz watches are better than mechanical ones, because a lot of folks out there go beyond personal preferences and just completely dismiss quartz watches saying things like they have no soul. So I'm also going to explain why that notion of quartz watches not having any soul is idiotic. And yeah, I know this is going to rile up many, many, many folks out there. So yeah, let me know all your thoughts and comments and uh, let's talk about it down in the comments. And anyways, let's get into the four reasons. So first and foremost, the main thing I love about quartz watches is simply the practicality. I have multiple watches and I try to keep my main watches wound up. Thankfully, Tudor, Longines, and most Seikos nowadays have three-day power reserve, so I top them up every other night, just about, uh, on odd dates. But sometimes, if I'm busy, or if I just go to straight to sleep, or just like in a few days, I'll be gone for about one or two days, Chances are that they will all have died by the time I'm back. So then if I want to wear them again, I have to wind them up. I have to adjust the date and then set the time and synchronize the time because I always synchronize the time. So that's maybe just a me thing. But anyway, most of the time it's past 9 p.m. when I want to do this. And even though there are ways to get around setting the time and date in the red zone, which is 9 p.m. to 3 a.m., it's still a bit of a hassle. Oh, and then if it's a flyer GMT that's been dead for a while, yeah, I'm not wearing it until the date goes back to the actual date <laughs> because the resetting the date on a Flyer GMT has got to be one of the most irritating things in the watch world, period. Meanwhile, lo and behold, my Tuna, my SNE 569, and my Citizens are sitting there just ready to go no matter what happens and yeah, no matter how long it's been since the last time I wore them. Quartz is just dependable for me and more so if you go for a solo quartz. So yeah, this ease of use is more relevant to me and maybe those of you have multiple watches, but still, there's just something to be said about knowing that your watch is just gonna be working and accurate whenever you put it on your wrist. And kind of piggybacking off of the last point about quartz watches being easier to live with, they are also vastly more accurate than mechanical watches, which is just a fact. I, like many of you, get excited by watch accuracies. I keep track of them on my phone, in my notes, and yeah, getting a watch that gains like two or three seconds or less per day is undoubtedly super exciting. But basically, all of my quartz watches gain about three to six seconds per month maybe a touch more depending on the weather outside since these aren't thermal regulated, meaning that the movement compensates for the temperature changes resulting in an extra accurate movement, but also one that costs more. But I digress. So Simply Fantastic because I can rely on them to tell me the time very accurately. No chance of it slowing down enough to be a few minutes slow or to be super fast at some point. Yeah, I just look down at my wrist and I know that the time that I'm seeing here is basically absolutely spot on. Oh, and then to go further, uh, Grand Seiko quartz watches are rated up to 10 seconds per year and some of their special watches with the gold star are accurate up to five seconds per year. And then there's some citizen watches that go a bit further and are accurate up to one second per year. And th that's just absolutely mind boggling to me. That's just so awesome. And the next big reason is that quartz watches, even the cheap ones, well, as long as like they're from a reputable brand, are more robust and can take more abuse than mechanical watches. And that's because they have fewer moving parts, especially when it comes to the escapement in mechanical watch, which is in comparison, big and cumbersome while it's oscillating around whatnot. And also if the watch is automatic, that means that the rotor winding up the watch is also at risk. Therefore, even though mechanical watches can absolutely be strong and robust, quartz is just on another level, that's why Full tool watches with quartz movements just makes more sense. Hence why Seiko created a specific movement, the 7C46 movement for just a few tunas like my Darth Tuna over here. And anyways, going back to having fewer moving parts, it also means that servicing is much easier when you have to do it. And yeah, most of the time for quartz watches, service intervals are very, very long. So you'll save money over time on that end. And especially if you have a Grand Seiko 9F quartz movement with a 50 year service interval because they have their movements hermetically sealed separate from the battery. And that's just 
that's just incredible to me. And also another like the tidbit is that they grow, grow their own quartz crystals for their movements, which is just mind boggling to me. Unrelated, but I still had to slip that in there. Okay, just a note, if people don't like quartz watches as a personal preference, that's absolutely fine. My problem is when people go beyond personal preferences and dismiss quartz watches entirely and deny quartz its dues and look down on quartz watches. And one of the most common things that people say is that quartz watches have no soul. And I completely disagree. I think they very much do. It's just a different soul from the soul that you find in mechanical watches. First off, mechanical watches are undoubtedly super cool. Most of my watches are mechanical. And it's very cool to think about the feats of microengineering that are ticking away inside those mechanical watches. But quartz watches are also feats of microengineering. In the end, they're run by electricity running through a tiny crystal, making it vibrate 32,768 times per second and they end up many times more accurate than our beloved mechanical watches which to me is just so 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 cool and it just makes for a special and unique soul perhaps a little bit more of a high-tech soul i suppose and considering how most of my watches are mechanical whenever i wear a quartz watch just knowing what's going on inside and knowing the robustness and incredible accuracy it all adds up to an experience that is completely different from whenever I wear a mechanical watch. And while I enjoy the smooth ticking of a mechanical movement, seeing a quartz watch tick is pretty cool. And I think it gives a watch an extra sense of purpose since the ticks are so precise and it adds to that different soul. Also, there is so much more to a watch's soul than just the movement. Uh, your work doesn't have the same soul as a Seiko SKX or a Tudor Pelagos or a dress watch or Katia Tank or something like that. They're all mechanical, but they're all just so different, obviously. So yeah, I don't think anyone in their right mind would ever say that a Katia Tank and a Eurowork have the same soul or same anything just because they happen to have a mechanical movement inside of them. And even, even the mechanical movements are just so different within them. Anyways, so yeah. That, uh, there's, there's a lot to unpack here, so definitely comment down below what you think about all this, and until the next video, good day.